prasybėt lošimų automatai. Rulėti. Lažybos stalo lošimai. Įsitraukimas į azartinius lošimus gali sukelti priklausomį. Alex, uh, welcome to Lithuania. What are your first thoughts on now and the decision to move to Lithuania? It's good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Obviously, I've heard a lot about this country and uh, their, pa their passion for basketball and and just their knowledge for the game. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. What did you know? Uh, what did you hear about Lithuania? You mentioned. Could you expand on this? Just, yeah. just how obviously how talented the country is as far as basketball, how, how, how much they respect the game. You know, obviously, you growing up in Greece, I have, have a deep respect for European basketball. So I think even though I've played most of my professional years in the United States, I think that always having going to, to these countries that um, Spain, Lithuania, that, that, is, that respect the game and, um, and play the game the right way is always good to, always good to see. Alex, did you have anyone to talk to about Lithuania? Maybe you talked with uh, David Acevedis that you played last year? Yeah, yeah, I remember I played Acevedis a bit. But no, I, I didn't get a chance to touch base with him. Uh, we always talked about uh, about him, how he liked it back home and all, all that stuff, but I never got a chance to touch base, but uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, exci I'm excited to see for myself. What main aspects brought you here to Lithuania? I mean, it's uh, quite quite far from your homeland and stuff For from sure. America as well. Yes. So what brought you here? Uh, I would say I would say just me being able to develop in the in the right space. I think this for for what my career uh, needed, I think this was gonna be the right spot for me. And um, I believe that this is the right spot for a lot of players that want to polish their game and want to solidify their games as a professional. What's your main um, goals for yourself for this season? Because you stay here for the end of the season. Yes. Your, I mean, it's a short period, but uh, your main goals, obviously. Just win, win. I'm a, I'm a winner. I love to win. I love to play, play the right basketball. Um, I think I just I, I came here to help help this team win. So just uh, just being able to win games and uh, enjoy uh, enjoy basketball and uh, have fun. Um, now we're, we're in the capital. It's okay. It's a kind of big city, okay. But uh, yes. depending on what you've been in America, it's not a big, not, not a big city. But Majeke, the city where you, you will stay, is thirty thousand people. Yes. Are you ready for that? Of course, of course. I'm uh, obviously I'm from I'm from Athens, but um, I've always been in small city my whole life. You know, I played in played in Ashkash, played in. I played in Murcia, I played in small cities my whole life, so I'm, I'm ready for that. I don't, I don't do much, I'm all about basketball, so it doesn't really mean much to me. Seeking, seeking the development that you want, uh, what kind of conditions do you feel that you need at this, at this uh, stage of the career? What conditions do you need, you know, in terms of playing time, you know, or what the team needs, you know, and talking about the result? Just, just being able to, 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 to match up with, uh, with a team that um, shares, the same, shares the same goal as me. As to win and to be to be able to be to be uh, patient, because uh, I'm all, I'm all about the team. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to, to be out there and make the right plays. But I'm I'm also gonna be I'm also gonna be try to develop with the team. You know, and, and that means develop through winning. You know, I don't, I don't ever want to go to any team that the focus is not winning. So I think keeping the balance of the focus being development and winning at the same time is very important for me. You spent, you spent your last three years in the G League and the NBA environment, which you got uh, released recently. Yes. Why do you think uh, it ended the way it ended? Um, not, 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 uh, not really sure. Um, but um, nevertheless, I'm very glad for the years that I spent. You know, I spent a uh, year obviously with the with the Raptors 905 and um, two years with the Wisconsin Herd. So. Um, I was glad for what I, I was able to do, the games that I, I was able to play, and the experience that I was able to have over there. What is your end goal? Is it to come back to the States or to create your own career in Europe? I think that's that's down the line, man. My end goal is to win basketball games, and where, where even if that means me doing it in Europe, it means me doing it in Europe, that means me doing it in the United States, that means me doing it in the United States. I just want to keep, keep having fun and keep growing as a professional. How would you describe yourself as a player? Um, just a little bit of everything, you know. I can, I can. I've showed, showed that I'm a good energy guy. You know, I'm, I'm able to get get stuff going for the team. You know, I'm a, 
be able to plug in the holes and kind of navigate what the team needs and kind of come in. I think my role, my role as a as a as a professional has changed throughout the years. You know, came in a bit with uh, in a short short stint with the with the 905 was playing more of a like a stretch role, shooting shooting the ball a bit more. Last year I tried to become more of a transition guy off and take take people off the bounce more. This year I did a, a little bit. Of, I try to expand my playmaking a little bit more and do a little bit of that. But I think I'm just gonna. You know, get with our coaches, get with our team, see what it, what exactly it is that they see of me, and uh, try to perform that in the best of my ability. Yanis and Tanas probably were the main advisors, you know, in this decision making. Uh, could you guess through the discussions that you have, you know, in this decision making, and what you talked about the most, you know, what you need uh, right now? Yes. Um, obviously, I talked with Yanis uh, and and my and my brother Costas too. They thought that coming here was a very good move from uh, for my career because um, obviously. Um, Costa and Tanas, they obviously played in him, having played in uh, Spain, having played in Greece, and my brother being in the Euroleague right now, they have a they have a deeper understanding. Uh, they played in Tanas has maybe played in all levels. He's played in second division, G League, NBA, Euroleague. So I think it's always it's always good talking with him and being able to gauge what what he thinks I should do. And uh, they definitely thought that coming here was a was a was a good move. So I decided to pull the trigger while I while I still could. How good are you as advisors? You know, older brothers. Hey uh, man, oh, always, always. Uh, I call them. Uh, I call them for advice about anything, not even basketball. You know, so they they always advise me to, to they point me to the right direction. And um, I'm glad that I have them as my older brothers. Is Yanis going to watch your games in the Premier League? Ho hopefully, hopefully. Don't know what his, don't know what the schedule looks like, but. Uh, Hopefully, we're both able to uh, to raise a cup. Actually, there were some reports about you signing with another Lithuanian team four years ago, but you chose the Spain Spanish team, Murcia. Yes. What was the reasoning behind that, and how much truth was there in those reports? Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, there were some reports previously. I just tried to, at, at that moment, do what I believed was best for uh, for my career. But um, as you see, things come come full circle, and I. Uh, and I'm able to fulfill uh, my Lithuanian destiny that maybe I didn't touch at, at that moment. Uh, Alex, could you please tell hi, li hi Lithuania in Lithuanian if, okay. I can, if I can tell you how? Okay, okay le le let me try. Yeah. Labas Lietuva. Labas Lietuva. Labas Lietuva. Labas Lietuva. Okay. That's and I have one more question from our most famous sports commentator. Um, he asked, uh, Lithuania is most known in, in the world for, for basketball, of course, but what do you think, what's the second most famous thing in Lithuania, maybe girls, maybe tasty food? I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm excited to taste the food. I've always, I've always known uh, Lithuania for uh, basketball, never, never really much else, but I'm, ex and I'm excited to be here and to expand my, uh, my knowledge of what else it, it could uh, give, give us as a country. Thanks. Thanks. Lošimo automatai. Rulete. Lažybos stalo lošimai. Įsitraukimas į azartinius lošimus gali sukelti priklausomybę.